Hey, I hope you're all having an amazing day. I thought I would bring you on my uh, out for a walk. So it's a beautiful day here today. So I thought I would <clears throat> get up. I mean, every day is a beautiful day. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I try to make sure one of my daily non-negotiables is to get outside every single day and walk or run or swim or do something. So um, I thought I'd bring you along for some of the walk today. So um, for those of you who've never watched me before, I'm Jane. I specialize in helping service-based business owners and coaches leverage their time whilst drastically increasing their income through high-end selling. And if you wait till the end, I want to tell you about something that's currently available for members of my free group. Um, it isn't launching to everybody yet, but um, it is open to my free group members and you're going to want to be in there together. But I'll tell you about that at the end, so make sure you stick around. So if you're joining me live, say hey so I can say hey back. If you are watching the replay, give me a hashtag replay so I can say hey to you guys as well. So, yeah, the number one way that you can position yourself above the noise and in a high-end way. The reason I wanna I wanna kind of talk about this is because everyone's always looking for that one thing, right? And when it comes to high-end selling, I often think that people think that the one thing is this huge, humongous, massive thing. And also a lot of people tend to think it's about audience size or it's about um, being in loads of magazines or being on TV. Often when they think about how to cut them up the noise and how to position themselves in the high-end way, they tend to focus on that. But actually, that isn't the most important thing. Most people can cut above the noise and position themselves in a high-end way with something much simpler. And it's, in, it's, it's actually the first step. Because those bigger audience numbers or the media attention won't actually convert into sales, particularly not high-end ones, if you don't actually have this. So the number one thing is being niche. So if we think about it right, and if you think about anything that you would kind of class as high ticket, so luxury goods, for example, right? Uh, Ferrari cars or anything along those types of lines. They're not mass market. They don't profess to be for everybody. They're not accessible for everyone. They're not made for everyone. They're not made for the masses. And it's the same principles would apply to your business. So instead of focusing on, I need loads of media attention, I need a massive audience. Those are actually things that don't position you in any higher way than without them. They do help when it comes to positioning yourself as an expert, for example, the media attention, but it won't necessarily relate to sales. And it certainly won't mean that you will be able to sell high end. It doesn't mean just because you've got media attention that people automatically see you in a higher end way. Media attention combined with everything else results in high ticket sales, but alone, not necessarily. So the reason why actually being niche is important is because it relates to that aspect of high ticket not being for the masses, right? And so what the mistake a lot of service-based business owners and coaches do is they think that they need volumes of people because they think that the volumes of people and volumes of eyes make them more popular and then more popular means that they can sell higher ticket because people think that they're more popular therefore they'll buy that isn't actually the case there is people out there in your industry selling high ticket packages and i'm talking really high ticket packages and you probably never even heard of them they might not even be online. <laughs> they might not have a Facebook group. They might have a really quite small audience. They might not get any media attention. And yet they are selling out their packages, high ticket ones, religiously, really high ticket prices, because it isn't about all of that stuff. 
position yourself in a high in a way that it actually means that people will pay high ticket prices is all about standing out from the crowd it's all about niching to a place where people then see you as the expert for that topic so for example if you're a virtual assistant you're not going to be seen in any more of a high ticket way if you have an audience of a hundred than if you have an audience of 600. Media attention is not going to position you in a he any higher way. Yes, it will get more eyes on your stuff, but it won't necessarily relate to sales. If you want to be positioned in a higher end way, you're going to have to niche down. Don't just be a virtual assistant. You need to be a virtual assistant that specializes in something for someone. And the same principle applies for any service-based business, any coach. The amount of coaches that are like well i'm a coach and i just need to get a bigger audience and i just need media attention and then i'll be able to sell these high ticket packages it won't work because if you don't want to be labeling yourself as just a coach that serves anyone that helps someone get free or that helps someone lose or feel better about themselves that isn't going to help with your high ticket sales in fact it likely won't help with your sales at all and it won't even help with media attention you need to be specific so the number one way to position yourself in a high-end way is to niche down, is to put your flag in the ground and say, this is where I am. This is where I'm claiming. This is the niche that I'm claiming. This is who I'm focusing on working with. This is where my expertise lie. This is the thing that I'm focusing on doing for people or helping them with or coaching them on. That's the fastest way to do it. Like none of the other stuff matters if you don't do that sort of thing. So that's the number one way, niche down. And I know people can be a little bit afraid of niching down because then they have the element of, oh my God, but if I niche down, then I'm gonna lose out on all these sales. But the reality is that you're not gonna get those sales anyway. You're going to get more sales at a higher volume. Well, not higher volume, what's the word? At a higher amount, right? By being niche down than if you were really broad and generic and trying to work with everybody or just marketing yourself as a virtual assistant that did everything, for example, or a coach that generically helps people. You will actually make more sales, more money, and grow quicker by niching down anyway because the niching down enables you to cut above the noise. The niching down enables you to position yourself in a higher end way because you're not mass market, right? You're saying this is, this is who I'm an expert for. And people will then automatically see you. They'll automatically see you in that higher ticket way than if you were blending in with everybody else for the masses. So it isn't actually just the advice I'd give for positioning yourself in a high end way. It's actually the advice I'd give for making sales online when you're kind of an unknown um, is to niche down. Um, and, you know, yes, obviously the pool of potential people will get smaller your conversions you'll be seen you'll actually make more sales from that smaller pool and you'll actually be able to increase the amount of those sales how much those sales are worth and you'll grow quicker with that smaller pool than what you would actually see from that larger generic pool so niche down don't be afraid of niching down don't be afraid of niching down and claiming a space and the other thing to remember is you don't have to stay there forever so the niche that I first started in back in 2013 isn't the niche that I'm in right now. Um, and my niche is a lot, lot, lot broader than what it was when I first started. You can always grow. You can always change the niche. You can always expand out. But to begin with, you're going to want to make sure you put your flag in a niche, claim that space, cut above the noise, you instantly then position yourself in that higher end way, which means that you can make sales. So the thing that I wanted to tell you about, at the end of this month, my new um, monthly membership is launching, but it is actually a really low cost membership. So it is going to be $7. And for $7 a month, you're gonna get access to live masterclasses, you're gonna get access to a buddy up system, you're gonna get access to quarterly boot camps, and it is all about getting you to six figures in your service-based or coaching business. Seven dollars a month, but if you join the Limitless Living Lounge right now, uh, for the next couple of weeks, you will be able to get access to the six-figure squad for a grand total of zero. 
it will cost you nothing to join the six figure squad and you get access for a full 12 months after the 12 months obviously it's entirely up to you if you want to stay then you can pay the seven dollars a month if you don't then you can leave obviously you will hopefully already be at the six figures by then so you wouldn't need to rejoin anyway but <clears throat> Yeah, so it is launched at the end of this month, the Six Figure Squad, but you can get in right now for nothing. Zero. Um, and you can do it by joining my group. So if you head over to the Limitless Living Lounge on Facebook, there is a live there which has the link to the form which you can put your details in and that will give you access to the Six Figure Squad when it launches at the end of this month for nothing. So you will get 12 months access for nothing. Um, and full details are also in there about everything that's included in the Six Figure Squad, but it is monthly masterclasses, uh, live masterclasses, a uh, buddy up system, playlist stuff, um, quarterly boot camps, and lots of other things as well. But you get 12 months access for free. So head over to the Limitless Living Lounge, request to join, go to that live, fill your details in on the form, and then you can get free access. So, um, I'm really excited actually to launch the Six Figure Squad um, because it's going to be really cool to hang out in a space and have something um, that's I mean, really accessible for everybody, um, which is pretty cool, really. Um, and we're doing a lot of a lot of changes um, to my coaching business this year. We've got a whole new rebrand um, going underway that I'll share the details on with you um, when I've got more information about it. Um, loads of different systems and things behind the scenes. Like I'm taking growth this year to times 100. We got so much going on, so much growth going on. Um, and I'm excited actually to share the whole journey with you as well. But part of that is this um, changing around of different things. And part of that is this new offer. So um, like I said, if you haven't, if you're not a member of the Limitless Living Lounge, go over there, join, put your details in, you get 12 months for you. So, down there you can just see Player Blanca, and then right in the background you can see Fred and Ventura. So yeah. But if you are currently not niche down, get yourself niche down. Otherwise, have an amazing day guys, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.